PCOS is a long term issue. So this is something which is going to affect every organ in your body. PCOS which is a metabolic disorder this might lead to infertility and the struggle to get conceived will be a lot. This is Lavanya Manokar, uh, Certified Integrative Nutrition and Hormonal Health Coach. Also, Internationally Certified Prenatal and Postnatal Yoga Instructor. So in this channel, we are going to see a lot of information about hormones, hormones and hormones, all about women's health. Most probably, we are going to focus all about fertility, both men and uh, you know women. So all about infertility mostly. And what are the remedies, what we can do, what are the lifestyle changes that is going to change your way to hormonal health here. The first video in our channel. So today we have a lot of doubt, like what is PCOD and what is PCOS. So all about polycystic ovarian disease or polycystic ovarian syndrome. What's the difference? PCOD is nothing but a polycystic ovarian disease is where your ovaries produce partially mature or immature eggs which means this may lead to cyst formation. So this is within the ovaries and this is not spread out of your ovaries and it's not impacting your body. But PCOS polycystic ovarian syndrome is nothing but you have impact on your ovulation which is having an impact on your eggs which is also leading to increased male hormones inside your body that is androgens and this is leading to insulin resistance and a lot of issues so this is actually a ovarian disease which is outside your body so you have a lot of symptoms that is happening over you know your body throughout your body PCOD and PCOS so in short PCOD is like a short term disturbances which can be easily managed by simple lifestyle changes but PCOS is a long term issue which from insulin resistance you would be pre-diabetic leading to diabetes. So this is something which is going to affect every organ in your body. So you need to take a very strict diet, follow a proper protocol to reverse each and everything that the hormones has issues in your body. So PCOD is very easy uh, because I personally had bilateral ovarian cyst but I was able to conceive naturally. But PCOS which is a metabolic disorder this might lead to infertility and the struggle to get conceived will be a lot so the struggle is a lot and lot almost 90% of the women those who are struggling with uh, you know a lot of metabolic disorder or hormonal issues is because of PCOS because in recent days because of our eating pattern our lifestyle changes it's not that easy to reverse all the symptoms entirely so we can easily manage with a little bit of dietary modifications so if you are taking a high fiber diet a good quality protein in your diet all also adding a lot of fats and a lot of carbohydrates especially the low glycemic index carbohydrate can be easily able to overcome the PCO symptoms but PCOD is a little bit easy just by baking like 50 to 60 percent of dietary modifications we feel better and we feel that ovulation is happening your periods are getting regularized but those who are with PCOS who are having a metabolic disorder they will face a lot of struggles in overcoming all the issues so they need to be lots strict in their diet and regarding the exercises yoga can be done by people with PCOD who are having missing periods and those who are struggling with minor changes but PCOS you should be more focused on strength training workout and also yoga because you might be having cortisol imbalances as well so the conclusion here is PCOD is easily manageable and this can be uh, you know managed by just minor lifestyle changes but PCOS you need to be more consistent take a lot of herbal teas you need to be more prioritizing your work your eating habits your exercises and all these things and also your stress levels but PCOD is easily manageable more and more content regarding the hormonal health and fertility issues we are going to put up in our channel so please do comment whatever doubts you have regarding your own body symptoms and all these things and please do follow Renourish with love and Instagram. Namaskar.